Now, right here in Korea, amid uncertainty and plunging figures, the country's economic and financial policymakers held emergency meetings throughout the day to gauge the potential fall from the be Brexit decision. But many seem to agree that it'll have limited impact on Korea's real economy. Kim Minji reports. The Korean government vowed to do all it can to stabilize the financial market. Vice Finance Minister Choi Sang-mok made the announcement on Friday during an emergency meeting with other financial authorities to discuss the possible fallout from the UK's exit from the European Union. Chess said authorities will closely watch the currency market and foreign capital outflows to reduce volatility in the local market. We will closely monitor the situation and take necessary measures, including smoothing operations. We will also set up policy coordination with related ministries to prevent the impact spreading to the real economy. The general consensus is that Brexit will have a limited impact on the country's real economy. For one, Korea has strong fiscal soundness, huge current account surplus and foreign reserves to deal with the situation unfolding in Europe. On top of that, the UK hasn't been a big trading partner of Korea. Korea's exports to the UK came to 7.4 billion US dollars last year, accounting for only 1.4 percent of the country's total outbound shipments. The UK will have at least two years to negotiate terms with the EU, and during that time, the tariff cuts which Korea benefited from in the UK will continue to take effect. The concern is, however, if negative sentiment takes a toll on the British economy, which could weigh on the global economy. The government and the ruling Senuri party also said Brexit will not be a factor they consider when revising the country's economic growth outlook or drawing up an extra budget. They noted that while the British vote to leave the European Union will impact the domestic financial market in the short run, the damage will contract down the line. Kim Minji, Arirang News.